With your format clock displayed, open the Rules menu and select Edit. Music One normally doesn't require a lot of formatting rules because of the interactive nature of the scheduling system. You're not so much telling Music One what to do as you're telling it what not to do. The basic idea is to set rules for things that you don't want to happen. There are four basic parts to clock rules. Hour, Run, Separation, and Transition. You can set these for tempo, gender, and sound codes. Run sets how many songs you will allow in a run or in a row. If you enter the number 2 in Female Run, it tells Music One it's okay to sometimes schedule two female songs back to back, but don't do more than that. If you enter 15 minutes in Duet Separation, it tells Music One to make sure there's at least 15 minutes of other content between duets. If you enter number one in the instrumental hour box, it tells Music One to allow no more than one instrumental to be scheduled in this clock hour. Select the Duet Transition 2 box, then click Female, and it tells Music One to not schedule a female song after a duet. In other words, no transitions into females. Now, if you don't want females and duets to ever be scheduled back to back, you'd also need to tell Music One to not schedule a transition from a female into a duet. To add another characteristic to the transition restriction box, just click on it. To remove a transition, remove the highlighted characteristic. You can sometimes add rules that are redundant. If so, Music One displays it in red font. For example, putting a 1 in the instrumental run box tells Music One to not schedule instrumentals back to back, only one instrumental in a row. But we can also tell Music One to not transition from an instrumental into another instrumental. This is the same rule expressed two separate ways. Another way to have a redundant rule would be if we told Music One to separate duets by 15 minutes, and we also told it to not schedule duets back to back by putting a number one in the run box. Leaving it like this will cause no harm, it's just not necessary to have both rules applied. These types of rules can also be set for tempo and for sound codes. Now do remember, most of the boxes you see on these screens will be and should be left empty. The best thing to do when you first start using Music One is to set very few rules, maybe some light restrictions on your tempo flow and genders, or maybe no rules at all to begin with. Then, as you've run some schedules and listened to the finished product, you can begin applying some rules as needed. The other thing to remember is that you can't put 15 pounds of potatoes into a 10-pound sack. What I mean by that is to avoid setting rules that are simply impossible to attain. For example, if 35% of the songs in your library are by female artists, if you have clock rules allowing for no more than three female songs an hour, very quickly the Music One scheduling pipes are going to get clogged. During scheduling, it'll stop and stop and stop again with one female content violation after another. This is something that I see happening with some new users setting tempo rules unrealistically too. If your total library is 30% slow songs, but you don't want more than three slow songs to be scheduled in an hour, then you could create tempoed categories. Put all your slow songs into one category, and then put that category onto the format clock three times. Then Music One couldn't even consider scheduling more than three slow songs an hour. There's another video about this section of clock rules, and about copying rules from one clock to another.